Hey, welcome back to Sting Flight, April 8th, 2015, and we have good news. California just got some rainfall and some much needed snow in the high country. Up to two feet at the highest elevations and up to an inch of rain. While it won't get us out of the drought and is just more or less a drop in the bucket, we'll take every drop we can get at this point. The plan today was to uh, fly up to the Sierras and video that new snow, but we can't make it through all these gnarly clouds that are still hanging around at several levels here above ground. So hopefully tomorrow we can punch up there and take a look at this new snowfall. Right now I'm going to look for a hole in these clouds, maybe punch through it, and we can at least have a look up 70 miles at the Sierras. Okay, it looks like we finally finally found a big enough hole in the clouds to go up and have a look. So let's go into climb mode, punch through this hole, and take a look at the Sierras. Well, not going to happen. It's uh, We've got broken layers of clouds all the way up to the Sierra, so we'll just have to wait till tomorrow morning and uh, make a run up there to have a look at all that fresh snowfall. Now, get back down through the hole. Okay, it's a little gnarly up here this morning. We have some uh, rising thermals. Yes, we do. I don't recognize this area. Where are we? Well, it looks a little different from the air, doesn't it? Yeah, well, uh, right over that way to the southwest is Arnold and Dorrington. Straight ahead up here is the uh, Carson Iceberg Wilderness Area. Over there is Bear Valley, and we're uh, we're currently at 7,500 feet, and so the ground right here is about 7,000. We're seeing a little bit of snow here, but not what I had hoped to see. A lot of bare ground still. Let's go on up a little farther and see what the uppermost elevations got. Okay, we're just about to 9,000 feet, and down below us here is Spicer Meadows Reservoir, and that's about 7,500 feet, and man, there is a lot of bare ground and rock down there still. Didn't, didn't help much there. Now we'll, uh, okay, up ahead there, 12 o'clock, that's the uh, Carson Iceberg Wilderness. Still a lot of bare ground up there too, and much of that is over 10,000 feet. Now we're going to drop down into my favorite lake, Donnell Reservoir, see if there's any snow around it. Here we go, down into the hole. You ready for the elevator ride down? I guess you are. Yes, I am. Let's go back to that little place where we used wow, to Wow, Donnell is not even frozen over. Days. And look we at all this bare ground on the south slope. At the water's edge, and everyone would come along to meet us there. Have a competition to see who can trap for longer Cause every year my body's getting stronger We Here we can go. swim all day and dance until the night But we're not coming home 
the bottom line here? Well, this springtime snowfall event did move the needle just a little bit, bringing the average snowpack from 5% up to 8% of historical average. But we needed 15 to 20 similar storms like it this winter, and we only got three. Californians are now facing severe water shortages and cutbacks, a brutal coming wildfire season, and major changes to lifestyles. Stay tuned right here to Sting Flight for further California Drought Watch updates. 